My name's Charlie Hawkins and I work with Carbon Link. I've been with Carbon Link for about 18 months and uh, working in the carbon farming industry since about 2013. Soil carbon farming is the process of improving your soil health through better management of pasture, uh, through the grazing animal or better management of, of uh, cultivation products or cultivars through better soil management. Uh, soil carbon farming process involves uh, in a grazing system uh, ensuring that you've got live pasture uh, throughout the year because uh, the living plant will have a living root mass which will have uh, mycorrhizal fungi which will promote uh, adion and cation exchange capacity which allows uh, the root mass to access trace elements that are necessary for plant life and uh, the mycorrhizal fungi promotes humus and then humus creates organic matter, organic matter turns into soil carbon and soil carbon not only provides access to the trace minerals but it has greater moisture holding capacity so greater resistance to drought and greater resilience from drought. So an ACU or an Australian carbon credit unit is how we measure how much carbon dioxide is taken out of the atmosphere through carbon farming or avoided going into the atmosphere through a carbon farming activity. One ACU at the moment uh, is valued somewhere between $25 and $35 and it's a financial instrument, instrument that was created by the Australian government to support the carbon farming market and it's what you get paid for the rewards of carbon farming when you sequester carbon or avoid carbon dioxide emissions going into the atmosphere. To measure an ACU, you have to have a method of carbon farming that has a measurable component to it. The soil carbon uh, farming method is about measuring soil carbon change over time. In the beginning of a soil carbon project, we baseline or we measure the soil carbon uh, content on different parts of your property and then in five years later we come back and we look at the change and uh, the soil carbon is tested in an in via an instrument in our laboratory in Gladstone and um, there are other ways of uh, measuring soil carbon for instance uh, with reduction in emissions intensity with beef cattle uh, and that is measured by change in live weight gain you baseline your herds live weight gain over the last three years and then through the seven years of a project if you're increasing the live weight gain you're reducing emissions intensity by reducing the age it takes for that animal to get to sale weight so there are fewer molecules of methane per kilogram produced that's a reduction in emissions intensity measured through statistics soil carbons measured through physical measurement of the soil The Emissions Reduction Fund was a $2.5 billion fund that uh, initiated the Australian carbon market back in 2015, uh, or 2014 actually. With bipartisan support, the Carbon Farming Act was created by Penny Wong in 2013, and from that, the Emissions Reduction Fund was built to support uh, the initiation of carbon farming projects. Initially, the Australian government was buying all of the carbon credits and that's what the fund was supporting. Uh, carbon farming projects would enter into auctions where they would have an opportunity to create a price and a volume of carbon credits to sell to the government and the government would opt to uh, take on that contract. Now the carbon market has expanded to the private sector via the safeguard mechanism where heavy emitters are penalised uh, if they emit over a certain threshold of carbon emissions and they have to buy Australian carbon credit units. Uh, soil carbon farming directly relates to regenerative agricultural principles because regenerative agricultural pr principles are about rejuvenating the landscape, about making the, the landscape healthier and stronger, more resistant to drought and resilient from drought. Uh, a, res a resilient farming system or uh, a cattle production system will have good pasture cover all year round, good living root mass that's creating that organic matter in the soil, retaining soil moisture in the soil and uh, enabling pasture to continue to grow so the, the grazing animal can continue to thrive through the year, uh, increasing its live weight gain. Regenerative 
cultivation practices are about reducing synthetic inputs into the system, uh, encouraging the root mass to grow deep, for that mycorrhizal fungi again to expand, and for that microbial activity to uh, go crazy to enable uh, access to uh, different trace elements that are necessary for the, uh, uh, for the plant's growth and well-being. Get into carbon farming by uh, first speaking to a carbon project service provider who is uh, a signatory to the Carbon Code of Conduct. It's very important that you speak to someone who's part of the Code of Conduct because uh, by being signatories we're obliged to provide producers with all the information they need to know about what's involved in getting into carbon farming, the risks and the successes of uh, going through a project because they're long projects between 30 and 100 years.